Good morning everybody and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club and today I come to you from the Botanical Gardens of Sydney on this first day of spring. It is a glorious day, I just couldn't wait, couldn't wait for this moment to come and uh, it's finally arrived, springtime in Australia and uh, unfortunately the last day of summer in Greece. For all of those who are planning to go to, the, to Greece this year for summer, my condolences to all of you. Uh, we all missed out on this year's uh, Greek summer. But uh, hopefully we can make it up in the years to come. Don't know how long it'll take before we can get to uh, fly to Greece but I definitely will be trying to get back there given, uh, given that we have health and uh, autopsy, uh, everything is possible. Anyway, we'll uh, go on a walk and talk today. Look at these beautiful flowers here. We'll go on a walk and talk and chat about a topic that I've got near and dear to my heart. Uh, just recently I've been working with a, a fellow a lovely guy, he's, uh, he's just turned 50, he's Maori and an absolutely good looking guy and he has women throwing himself at him, th throwing themselves at him all the time. And uh, I tell him, I say, you've been cursed mate with uh, good looks because you just don't have any peace anymore. Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, you've got ladies checking you out and uh, wanting to get some action. And he said, mate, don't worry, I've had a chance to uh, work out things over the years. I'm still single, but I have been in relationships and I've had an opportunity to uh, date many, many women and I am now much more selective than what I once was. And uh, I've closed my heart to a certain extent so I don't get hurt anymore. And so that I don't waste too much time with uh, people or in relationships which don't have uh, a future or an opportunity for me to uh, grow and develop. So I said to him, I said, Dion, why don't you share some of your uh, learnings with me? I'm a boring guy, mate. I got married early in life and uh, I'm very, very conservative when it comes to relationships. I've just been, uh, just been uh, a typical sort of married man all my life. So share some of your learnings with me. And he said, James, it would be my pleasure it is, it's very, very simple, he said. And he said, what he's learnt, and I'll use an analogy. He says, you can't find happiness in places where it's difficult to find. Now, you can't go running west ways or westward, running towards the west and expect to ever find a sunrise which I thought was a powerful, a very powerful way of uh, describing things. So let's say it again. According to Dion, we need to be uh, looking in the right places for love and um, unfortunately he said that he's, he's, he's always looked but he's ended up looking in the wrong places but now He's learnt many lessons and he wants to share some of those lessons with us. To tell you the truth, I was really, really impressed with him and his, uh, his value system. He said that because he's been hurt in love before, his first rule is that he never dates or goes out with a married woman. Sounds pretty basic and pretty obvious. But he said, in this day and age, it's amazing, he said, 
and quite saddening that uh, there is a high level of infidelity which uh, seems to be uh, in the world and as I said he's a sort of guy who is uh, very good looking and as I said he has women throwing himself at him all the time so his uh, rule is he doesn't date married women and he doesn't date women who are in relationships which is quite noble of him um, and as I said I'm very very impressed that he thinks that way and he says look he doesn't even look he doesn't look even look at women when they're walking with their boyfriends or with their husbands or with people that appear to be in a relationship together and he said it's very very important to be respectful respectful of people who are in relationships respectful of women who have uh, partners or who have boyfriends and that not to be the sort of guy who just leers at women regardless of whether or not they have company or not uh, so as I say I'm really impressed with that um, the other things that he, uh, he talked about is that um, he doesn't date women who are much younger than him because uh, in his experience he basically says that uh, you know what do you talk about after you've um, you know after you've made love and he said that uh, if there is too much of an age gap between yourself and your partner then there's uh, not much substance there from his experience to make it sustainable or to make it interesting outside of the bedroom and as he says he says the most important thing for him is to be able to uh, have a balance of uh, you know, sensual pleasure as well as having a balance of uh, mental stimulation and intellectual discussion and things that uh, will keep him uh, interested in his partner I said are there anything other any, are there any other tips any other things any, any other rules that you have and he said yeah I've got some more rules and I've learned learnt the hard way he says I, I steer clear of people of women who uh, have uh, dependency on uh, on drugs alcohol and uh, things like that because he says that uh, it always in his experience it always leads to problems you know you try and do the right thing you try and uh, uh, be a, a good partner but sooner or later he said sooner or later the issues start to arise when uh, you're dealing with people who have uh, an addiction to drugs to chemical substances or to alcohol they'll say things they'll do things which will end up disappointing you and lead to, uh, to issues down the track I said is there anything else Dion and he said yeah the one other thing that he um, he's very cautious of and that is uh, to date women who have children and I said, why is that, Dion? And he says that, look, at the end of the day, a mother has a very important relationship with her children. And uh, in many ways, there's a preoccupation with children that impact relationships. And he said that uh, when he's in a relationship with, with somebody, he wants to be 100% um, committed to them and for them to be 100% committed to him. Otherwise, he said it's, uh, it's really hard for it to make it work. And uh, once again, I thought that was uh, very interesting, but quite noble, quite noble for him to, uh, to bring it up, to be honest, and to uh, dis discuss these things, which in many ways are taboo subjects for many people. But as he said, well, as he said, and I guess it makes sense at the end of the day, he said that uh, yeah, it's very, very hard when people have family, you know, when people have children 
or when people have elderly parents, you don't want to be distracting them, you don't want to be taking them away from their family, and especially if you haven't got honourable um, honourable um, intentions. Now, if you just want to have fun and, uh, and fool around, then probably mixing with uh, people who have children or have other responsibilities and accountabilities is not the uh, responsible thing to do if you're a person who has values. So uh, I think that's basically it. But uh, it was a real eye-opener for me. And as I said, I've never been the sort of person who ever has ever had people throwing themselves at him. Um, and I, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate that I've never had that uh, issue or distraction. But uh, as I said to Dion, he says, mate, I said to him, well, you probably now know how women feel when they have uh, men constantly throwing themselves at them. And he just laughed and he said, yeah, you're probably right. Um, but uh, I think that's it for now. That's a, it's a very interesting topic. And uh, I was really, really happy to have uh, covered this topic because it is something which, which is, uh, is tricky. And um, a lot of people tend to be looking for love in the wrong places. And according to Dion, the wrong places to be looking to, for love and uh, is, you know, um, you know, looking at people who are already married or in a relationship, people who are preoccupied with uh, drugs, alcohol and other, other addictions, uh, people who, who have families, who have responsibilities uh, because you know, their duty and their focus is obviously going to be on their children, on their families and uh, to try and um, entice them away from those duties wouldn't be the right thing to do. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, chatting and for spending time with me today. I look forward to chatting to you again uh, tomorrow morning at 5am on Jim's 5am Club. I'll be coming to you from another location and hopefully touching on another subject, be it a book summary or be it some experiences that we've uh, talked about or, or identified. But uh, thank you once again and let's finish off with our positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well and I feel absolutely great. And to everybody, um, I, I truly hope that you can find love, but it's important to find love in the right places and to not be facing west or running west while looking for a sunrise, which is a powerful affirmation, a powerful, um, sorry, metaphor. So see you again until we chat again. Yeah. Bye for now from Jim's 5am club.